guys, I'm Rosa, the founder of Sketch Out and WH Smith's resident art expert. And right now I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why should you draw in the first place? What's the point? Okay, the main thing is it's really fun and it's really relaxing. And I personally believe that everybody is creative and has creative urges. And that is really good for our well-being to actually listen to those and to, to do some drawing. It can be a very mindful activity actually. You know, you really just concentrate on what you're looking at and what you're drawing and you forget about the, the kind of worries of everyday life. And especially when we're often, you know, distracted these days by our phone pinging and, you know, always just being so busy. It's one of those things that can just kind of settle you down and really just take you into the present and help you to relax. I've designed these videos so that you can pause them whenever you want and actually draw from the image on screen if you want to. Or you can set up a similar still life in your own home to draw from real life objects. So to draw from 3D as opposed to 2D as it will be on screen. So there might be a couple of differences, you know, in terms of lighting conditions and the types of objects that you're using, but you can use the videos as a guide. Just wanted to tell you a little bit about the materials that we're gonna be using in these videos. So we're gonna be using charcoal, graphite and pencils, and also water soluble uh, ink tense blocks. So they're like water soluble pastels. We're going to use those with some water brushes. Water brushes are just like brushes with water in the middle so it's almost a bit like a felt tip pen that's got water in the middle. Firstly I just want to show you a little bit about the charcoal. It's a really soft drawing material um, and it's really easy to manipulate. You can smudge it, um, you can erase it, you can push it around the paper really easily. So let's just get some on the paper and see what it's like. Um, it comes in different sizes. Um, goes on really, 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 really easily. And like I say, you can smudge it. Um, what I like to do is to use a cloth like this, which is, you could use a duster or something like that, and just blend it into the paper, often before I start drawing to make a kind of gray surface, okay? So just to give you an idea of what I mean, you see if we mix it into the paper like that, you get that lovely dusky grey surface, okay, which is great to work on because when you make marks with the charcoal on top of it, firstly you get that lovely grey black look and also you can rub the marks out with your finger, okay. Let's make some more marks. It comes in different sizes, the graphite, and also you can rub it away with an eraser if you want to. So it's great for adding highlights on top of the medium gray surface. Now I wanna talk a little bit about graphite, okay? So graphite is the same thing that you have in the middle of pencils, okay? And graphite sticks, um, they're just like pencils really, but you don't have the wood, obviously. So you have a slightly longer drawing edge, okay? Which means that you can make a bit of a wider mark if you want to, okay? It's for a little bit more precise work than for working with charcoal. But again, you know, it blends really, really, really easily. Not sure if you're gonna be able to see that. Um, and you can erase it, okay? So if you make a mistake, again, doesn't really matter. Um, I love using these pencils, actually, these um, Stateler pencils, because they've got these lovely small rubbers on the end, which is really great for precision erasing. And if you're trying to erase something which is quite dark, it really helps to have a small, teeny weeny little rubber so that you can get some pressure on there. Last but not least, we've got these lovely um, ink tense pastels, okay? So these are the water soluble pastels that we're gonna be using. Um, so we can get these on the page, just make some marks roughly. And then when we add water to them, you see they become almost like watercolors. Um, and you can really change the darkness of the color. Um, but the great thing about these colors is that they're all really, really rich. They're called ink tents for a reason. So it's seriously intense color, okay? And then let's try another color. And there's some green. Um, I'll just clean off this brush slightly and then you see the bright, bright green. And the great thing about these water pens is that sometimes you can just make marks with what's left on the water pen itself, okay? So that gives you a bit of variation in the marks that you can make. So you're using, you can have the texture of the drawing material, the pastel itself, or you can have a kind of brush-like texture. Um, 
which is really nice. Okay, and that's it. Bye.